so beautiful. They look at her. She's a thick daddy. She's a thick daddy. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Hello guys, it's Connor and welcome back to my channel. I'm currently filming on my phone and I'm in the car. I brought my camera with me, but it doesn't have a memory card, so oopsie daisy. Today's gonna be like a prep for 2021 with me, even though today's the 2nd of January. Probably should have done this last year. <laughs> That's all right. So today or over the next few days or whatever, I'm gonna get myself sorted for the new year. I just wanna get everything organized, planned, know when everything's due, when everything's like needs to go live, content, etc because I'm the type of person I need to be in control of things and like know when everything is I hate the unknown I hate uncertainty I hate not knowing when things are due there are people everywhere so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pop into Kmart and get some organization things I've got most things at home but um, I want to get a big calendar and then I need to get some other bits and pieces but that's what I'm doing first things first I'm gonna yeah get home clean my spaces give you my tips and tricks for like planning organization etc I hope you guys enjoy this video I love like organization and planning and I love it it just oof. before we get started please make sure you subscribe to my channel I do weekly vlogs every single week and follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with what I'm doing on my day to day life alrighty let's do this thing no, 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 no. It's now the next day. Yesterday ended up just getting away from me and I don't know where the time went. And before I knew it, it was like 5 p.m. And I was like, oh. First things first, I'm going to clean my spaces. Don't mind the fact that my fringe is completely lopsided. <laughs> but yeah, first things first, I think I'm gonna start off with my office because obviously this is where all the planning happens and all that jazz. So before I actually start like writing anything down, I'm gonna clean my space the best I can. I'm not gonna like necessarily declutter in here. Although I pour up, no, we're gonna do that. We need to. Oh, this is gonna feel so good. All right, I'm gonna start off by cleaning my makeup station and just get that clean. Let's do a time lapse, shall we? No, 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 no. And I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna try to the time to put in words how the colors are blooming. To try to count how fast my heart is booming. And it's up to scrap this field. Okay, so I've tidied up my office space a little bit. I just went and had a copy with Freya, so that's why I'm in a different outfit. But now what I'm gonna do, I think, is this is my big calendar that I got from the news agency. I think when I move into my house, I will mount this on a wall maybe, but I'm trying to figure out where I wanna put it. <laughs> because I want it nearby, but I can see it. I mean, I could put it on my desk, I suppose, because it is like a desk pad one, but I'm gonna basically get my old calendar. It's gonna be so satisfying. I love writing dates and calendars. Is that bizarre? I don't know. Okay, so this is January. We're gonna, I'm gonna write in all the stuff that's due that I have like, you know, at the moment, so. So this is the size of my current calendar. This one was just from Kmart, but I just, I feel like the bigger the calendar, the more easily you can just see everything. Enjoy the time lapse. In front of me, a bunch of people are screaming. I just ignore them and go on with the dream. So that's all I do. later now since I last spoke to you guys. This video is gonna be filmed over the course of like a few days. One of my tips for getting into a new season or a new year, one thing that really helps me is kind of like changing up my space or in this case, what I'm gonna do, which I know is not necessarily applicable to everyone. My dad's retired. He was kind enough to give me his office space in this house to me, but it is really dark in there and I really benefit from changing up my space he has his own little desk just over there upstairs where it's really light and bright and there's air conditioning. So what I'm gonna do to change up my space is actually 
move my computer up here because iMacs just plug in. They move really easily. So I'm gonna move my office up here for the time being while my parents are away on holidays for the next like few days. So obviously you can't always like completely move rooms or anything like that if you have like an office space. But even just changing around where you work is really helpful. I'm, I'm the type of person who always moves around my bedroom or my office. It's just like, even if you do like the slightest little change, it just helps re-energize your brain. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get my, lap my laptop. I'm gonna go get my computer, move it up here, and then I'm gonna get stuck into doing some editing. So I'll show you guys that. Okay, so I'm sorry this video is like all over the place. Because we had the three day lockdown in Brisbane, my parents came home early, therefore I had to move out of being upstairs back into my office, but that's fine. I had like a nice, I think it was like three days working up there. Lovely, but we're back into my space now. So to get set up for 2021, even though it's the 13th of January as I'm filming this right now, um, I feel like the whole month of January is just kind of the month to get sorted. So what I'm going to do is even though I filmed like my 2021 goals video, I'm going to write them down because I feel like writing them down is very helpful for, for me at least. Let me do that first of all. I'm going to write them in my Steph Pays 2021 planner. So beautiful. Like look at her. She's a thick daddy. She's a thick daddy. I've already written some things in here, but this is a really good planner because it's not just like months of the year. It's kind of encompasses everything. The first page has like 2020 year reflection, highlights of the past year. And basically this is what I've written down. You can have highlights in every single aspect of your life. So obviously these aren't my only highlights. I have so many more. I feel like when you talk about goals and stuff, the physical things or the tangible or the number things come to mind. So like I've written getting verified on Instagram, reaching 400K on YouTube and 50,000 on Instagram. They were like my goals for the year, building my first home, it's not finished yet, but that is a highlight. Um, and then I had a financial goal as well, which I'm not gonna mention. So obviously I have way more, <laughs> way more. Personal development should be on there hundred percent. And obviously like my fitness goals. And then next we've got last year I accomplished, I lost eight kilos and I finally feel confident in my body, which I have never felt super great about myself in terms of the physical. I feel like Instagram, social media, you compare yourself to a lot of people and I just wasn't in a very good place with myself. Now I'm not saying that losing weight is the way to feel better about yourself, but in my case, I feel like that in conjunction with just how much I've grown as a person has really transformed me into loving myself and finally feeling just confident about who I am as a person, most importantly, my values and what I've accomplished at such a young age. That in conjunction with endorphins from working out and just everything together makes me feel really confident. And last year I saw I've written turn 21. <laughs> Fair enough. And then we've got last year, I got through feeling really lonely being single. It wasn't all the time and I'm definitely very content being single. I do enjoy being single, but obviously I had to work to get to this point. It was hard to go from a relationship to not being in a relationship and just getting through that and everything. And then obviously COVID. <laughs> Last year we got through COVID. I feel like everyone can put that down. And then we've got bad habits I dropped. I've written being lazy. <laughs> now, I don't think I'm a lazy person, but I think what I've written here is just, I implemented a lot more structure into my life, having calendars, to-do lists, etc., having a bit of more of a schedule rather than just kind of doing things, waking up and being like, hmm, what should I do today? So that's kind of what I mean by like bad habits I dropped. Obviously I still do those things sometimes, but I feel like I'm pretty consistent in having a schedule and being strict with myself about when I work, when I rest, when it's like me time. Good habits I started, I've said going to the gym and waking up early. I've never, I've always been an early riser, but I feel like last year I really woke up early a lot of the time and I love it now. So that's kind of like my reflection page. So yeah, it's just kind of nice to like see things written out. Then we have this page, which is a 2021 goals planner and it has like squares for each month. 
diary is so good and then it has all the public holidays and this is so handy because i am always that person that's just like is it a public holiday today like so confused as to what's going on so this has every single one laid out and it also has the school terms which is just handy because it just lets you know when everyone's on holidays and all that jazz and then we also have a, like a challenges page I love how this has turned into me to show you this book. Um, so basically we have the 14 day house refresh and then a get motivated challenge. These are quite cool. I don't know whether I'd have the dedication to do all of these, but it is very, very cool. So the 14 day house refresh is basically just a spring clean. So it's like day one, flip the mattress. I'm going to be honest with you. I have never flipped my mattress in my life which makes me concerned that that's the first one. Have, do you guys flip your mattresses? Am I just a disgusting person? Sort and cull clothes, I need to do that. Vacuum clean car. They're the tasks that you always are trying to get around to but never do. So that's a good way and you can kind of tick them off and stuff. It's also a get motivated challenge, which is super cool. It just gives you ideas on like what you can do to get out of a rut as well. Create a vision board. I kind of want to do that, but I don't know whether I'm artistic enough for that do some yoga, go for a walk, <laughs> have a maximum of one coffee a day. Yeah. Then we have a page for monthly goals. So it's got personal, finance, health, and social. So basically, it's more sort of like business and stuff, but basically what I've written for the month of January is start slash start making the podcast or start working on that, which I actually have started that. So that's good. And I've also written think about business ideas or slash thinking about like merch and everything. I'm going to write that down actually. Obviously, very early days. I don't know where I'm going with that, but I've just got it down there. Okay, then we have a finance goal. And I've never been one to have, like, financial numbers. I will do a video when my house is finished all about how I save for a house, etc. Um, but I've just written continue saving. I just save as much as I can. I've been doing that for a long time at this point. We also have health, which I need to write that down. I'm going to write down balance hormones or start trying to balance my hormones because they're definitely out of whack. I just know they are. I've been getting a lot of hormonal breakouts around here. I don't have oxy shred. I probably have it like once a month at this point. I've been looking into going to a naturopath and trying to figure out what the deal is with that because I did go on Accutane but I think my hormones are definitely out of whack. So I'm going to write balance hormones. I'm going to also write continue fitness goals which is basically just keep working out and keep doing what I'm doing. And then for social, I've written expand friendships and put yourself out there, which I have already done. And yeah, we're off to a good start. See, when you write these things down, sometimes it can be hard in your head. And you're like, I haven't achieved anything and it's already like this and this and this. But when you write them down and you think to yourself, well, I've actually done that and I've actually done that as well. You know, you can pat yourself on the back and be like, no, you are doing well. Don't be so mean to yourself, you know? And then the next ones are the calendars. So I would highly recommend getting some form of diary, some sort of planner for no matter what field of work you're in or where you're at, if you're in school, I feel like everyone needs some form of diary or a calendar because it just makes life so much easier. And leading on from that, a to-do list changed my life. But if you're a procrastinator, get yourself a to-do list. When you wake up in the day and you're like, I've got so much to do, where do I even start? When you write it down, you can itemize it in your head and be like, okay, this is what I need to get done for the day. These are my non-negotiables. And then these are the things that it would be nice if I got them done, but it's not the end of the world. I have a lot of those. <laughs> Sometimes I put something on my to-do list for like days in a row and I'm like, Connor, you need to do this thing. <laughs> it also makes me feel more accomplished. Even if I write something on there, like wash my hair, as dumb as that sounds, just the simple act of ticking it off. Your brain almost like subconscious, subconsciously pats itself on the back and is like, yeah, good job, we've accomplished that. It's like making your bed first thing in the morning. It just signals to your brain that you've accomplished something already and it just, I don't know, it puts you in a good mood and a good space to be productive is the goal at the end of the day, for me at least. I would highly recommend a to-do list. It makes me feel so much less overwhelmed. This one's really good. You can put the date, you can put how much water you drink, important things. You can like schedule your time if you want to be really organized. I've never reached that level of like organization where I'm like from this time to this time, we're doing this. Not there yet. Maybe that could be a goal for the year. And then you can also put tomorrow's tasks, which I've got a copy date tomorrow with a friend. I recommend to-do lists. Once again, this is Steph Pays. She sent me a bunch of her stuff and it's beautiful. 
I'm a very visual person and I've got my big calendar that you're sitting on that you guys saw with all my dates on it and all my stuff highlighted and I can see when things are due. If I didn't have a calendar, I would be so overwhelmed. And then another one is also really good is like a weekly planner. <laughs> Planners galore. So this one's just like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you can write down so you can see it in like a bigger picture. Um, and then a to-do list as well. I also have a shopping list one. <laughs> I feel like because I'm in January, things aren't too busy. Like I am busy, but it's not like crazy, crazy. I feel like in a in a few weeks' time, the fact that my house is gonna be done soon is like mind blowing. I'm gonna have a lot to do, but I'm very excited. So those are my tips for being organized, and that's how I like to stay organized because I do get questions from people asking about how. I'm organized and all that jazz. That's definitely one of them. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna do that I always put off and I feel like I need to do this more regularly or be a bit more organized is I'm gonna clean up my computer. Um, since I work on my computer all the time, I have files everywhere. I have things that can be deleted and I need to delete, I think, a lot of footage. It helps to just like speed up my computer as well, even though this has a lot of storage and I have a four terabyte hard drive. I just wanna clean everything up because it's, I'm not gonna show you the screen because it's private stuff on there, but I'm just gonna basically <laughs> delete stuff that needs to be deleted and try and organize things. I don't wanna do this right now, but I feel like I should and I know it'll make me feel so much better. So I'm gonna do a time lapse of my face basically and you'll see me, my eyes just going like everywhere and everything. So enjoy. <laughs> Can't see no point in resisting the I'm this in right. I'm just a disaster waiting to happen. Can tell the rest. this video my camera battery is just about to die those were my tips and tricks for getting set up for the year or basically how i got set up for 2021 it was all over the place i do apologize but it was just a bit of a hectic week but yeah as always i hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and i will see you in my next one Bye.